joined us. Yes? How was your nap? Did you like your nap? Did you like your nap, baby? Are you ready to go home? Are you ready to go home, Freddy? Aaron's coming to pick you up soon. Okay. <laughs> We're going to make some really weird salmon broth topoki and um, Aaron will be here soon. He's already on his way from the airport so Freddie's going to be gone by the end of this live I think. And we're just going to enjoy our time together. And all the fur, all the fur that you gave and I'll give you one last meal buddy, okay? But first. I have to make some topoki with all the salmon broth from the salmon that I cooked for you that you didn't want any of. Remember that, friend? Remember that? Mmm. I remember that. want Fred so don't meow at me okay no meowing at me no meowing at me for things that you didn't want not a lot going to pull up my own topoki recipe. And see how we can modify this one with the stuff that we have. Currently, I have some mushrooms that I can put in there. We have some kelp. Okay. Mushrooms ready. Can you help me find them? Do we have any mushies here? Yeah? Where? Where do you see them? I don't see them. You see them? I don't see them. toning down everything because I'm not fishing any of this out. I think we have kelp, but I'm not sure where we put it. Freddie, you want to help me? Instead of just staring at me, struggle? You think I'm going to feed you, don't you? You think I have food for you? I'm sad to report I'm not cooking for you. like 
with the ocean, right? It's product of Korea, Fred. You just smelled Korea. Did you like how Korea smelled? So this is the broth that we're doing. Then we have rice cakes and gochujang and gochugaru and garlic. We need lots of garlic, Freddie. We need lots of garlic. We're cooking on a time budget. Are you gonna help or not? You're not gonna help. You're definitely not gonna help. We have some gochugaru though. That's good, right? Gochugaru. right now. Monday be Monday. I woke up and I already felt completely discombobulated. And beyond that, oh god, everything just fell. I'm sorry, Fred. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I know I'm a mess. Um, we had some uh, rescheduling of newsletters, so now I'm just feeling like very unprepared for this week. And as much as I hate to admit it, I am going to miss Fred a little bit. He has been truly a pain in the butt. But I love you, buddy. I love you. I know it doesn't look like it when I'm waving a knife at you, but I do. Um, I don't have the comments pulled up on my laptop right now, so... Any questions that you are posing... I am willfully ignoring because not only am I trying to cook this at breakneck speed, I also have to pee. Is that rhyme? That kind of rhyme. Freddy is loafing. I'm gonna do this over here so you can see him. There we go. Maybe I will pull up comments. I'm sorry for ignoring you guys. I need to get my priorities straight. I need to get my anxiety in check. And now, if my internet cooperates, we'll have comments. These jeans are thrifted from Goodwill. They are from The Gap. I don't know what they're called. They might be like 90s relaxed fit or whatever. Yes, I did finish eating the salmon cakes. I am making this for mostly Aaron and me, but I bought these rice cakes on a whim, and I'm never going to use them, so I'm always happy to use them. I'm just setting expectations in place, guys. Aaron is here, but he does not want to be on the live, so um, he's had a very long trip. He's just going to chill in the living room while I get this food ready. I'm going to open the door for him. Ready? Are you ready to see Dad? Um, he was better than other times. 
he behaved in general, yes, but last night he really did wake me up way too many times and I just feel ill again. Not all due to Fred, certainly, but not having the best sleep doesn't help. Oh, don't hide, Freddy. It's Dad, you know Dad. Hi, Aaron. Hello. We have the live on, so you can just slink to the living room if you'd like. hiding underneath the seat right now. I'll bring you guys over to see him. There he is. Freddy, hi baby. This is a really expensive jar I got of um, gochujang. This was 25 bucks and it's probably two and a half times the amount of money of other jars, but we're excited. It's so fancy it even comes with lining paper. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I've learned to treat myself a little bit, you know? Sometimes, sometimes. All right, let me bring you back to the food stuff real fast since Fred is not moving. Um, there's Gochugaru, which is Korean chili flakes in here, with olive oil and a whole head of garlic. Way more than my recipe calls for, but there it is. And then we have a little bit of, whoops, I'm trying to get every last bit of this. Fred's coming to see you. He just ran out of the kitchen, so I don't know where he's going. We're gonna need a half cup or a quarter cup. I think that might be a lot, but there it is. Ooh, very funk. Very, very funk. Let me taste that again. This is $25. Go to John, guys. Oh, yeah. Much less sweet. Much more spicy. A whole lot of soy sauce fermentation flavors in there. I don't actually think I need to add the, the soy sauce that I called for because that is salty. 
but we'll go in with a little bit of white vinegar or rather rice wine vinegar. Actually, my original recipe calls for white vinegar, so let's go for it. And then a little bit of honey. One tablespoon of honey, which we'll just drizzle it in until I say when. And then we're basically going to stir this and we're going to add the rice cakes and the broth and let it cook. And then maybe I'll go talk quietly in the living room and go take a pee break while you guys wash this pot for me, right? Because you're good at that. You're going to make sure that nothing burns while I'm gone on my bathroom break, right? That's why you're here. My sous chefs. Very pixelated. Well, I guess that's just one more sign for us to not be here anymore, right? Sorry, guys. I've turned off my laptop. Let me know if that helps but otherwise I don't know what the fix is. As I've told you, I've been suffering through a lot of internet problems. I think it has to do with the heavy rains we've been experiencing. Um, so, hi Turkey. Not sure. Not sure. looking any better now that I turned my computer off? You let me know. I certainly don't know what's going on. That sucks. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my internet. I'm sorry for the bad quality. I was hoping that it would be better. Was it better in the beginning when I was hugging Fred? Was that pixelated too? Um, yeah, I don't know guys. Look at that. We have filter options, but I can't smell anything right now, so maybe I am sick. What if I do have COVID? But I mean, I've been writing the newsletter and I could smell all of the spices. Fine, I just can't smell this now. But. All right, I'm going to go pee and then Aaron, I'm going to come talk to you. I know you just wanted to check in, but this tapoki is going to take some time to cook and it gives me enough time to come talk to you and talk, tell you about Fred and then maybe by the time, 
I know you don't want to hang out on the live. I'm not taking the live with me. They're staying in the kitchen. Well, I'm sorry. You initially gave me an estimated 6 p.m., so that's why I scheduled it for this. Well, I don't want to keep you after a long trip. Do you want to just go then? I'm going to go pee. I'm going to turn this down to a low heat. And then you guys are going to watch over this for me while I cook. And you're going to send me a bat signal. If it runs low on liquid. Okay? I'll be, I'll be right back. I just want to make sure this isn't burning on the bottom.
Why is this so stressful, guys? I don't like this at all. I don't understand this. Not in a good mood. <coughs> Truly one of the last things I needed on my Monday. I'm not arguing with him. Something that I'm learning in therapy. <laughs> Emotion regulation. Checking in with myself, realizing that I was getting more and more aggravated, feeling my heart and chest tighten, feeling the tears come on, knowing that I'm upset, and knowing that that's a sign for me to tap out, while still being in touch with why I'm feeling what I'm feeling. And so, I just need to chill and it's the same method that I've been using with Fred, which is to give each other space and focus on the task at hand one thing at a time. Right now, my concern is making sure this pot of food doesn't burn. It's got really expensive gochujang in it that I look very much forward to tasting and um, I understand that there has been a boundary presented to me that Aaron doesn't want to be on the live and I'm trying to respect that but also realizing that this is my apartment and um, we had agreed on 6 p.m. ETA and it's earlier than expected so he's chilling and I'm gonna do my thing he's requested that I end the live I don't want to end the live this is again my space and this is my life and so prioritizing my own boundaries as well um so it's hard sometimes managing two different individuals boundaries takes a lot of negotiation and currently there was no successful negotiation so I'm moderating my own emotional regulation, calming myself down, absorbing in the whole sensory tap in thing, which is, you know, something like five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can smell, two things you can hear, one thing you can taste, something like that. Just giving yourself grounding when you feel like you're about to either combust or float away or that you want to disappear um, and right now I'm paying attention to the way the light is hitting my rice cakes the glimmer of oil from gochujang and salmon soup being released the cracks in the rice cakes that happened because I froze them and defrosted them even though I wasn't supposed to and thinking about how aesthetically they're not perfect, but all of those little cracks and crevices will hold on to even more sauce when we finally eat them. And telling myself that it's not a big deal. 
I also scooped a little more gochujang into this pot than I intended to, which kind of triggered my thrifty side of being like, whoa, that was $5 worth of gochujang you just put in there. But also trying to haul it back and put it into perspective in terms of how healthcare is going to cost me $600 a month and I'm not even going to use it. So all of that to say, thank you for witnessing this Monday. Um, it's been really sickly for me the last couple of days um but the topoki is coming out nice the broth is very silky it's got a sort of luscious smooth viscous drip to it and i just love looking at how it slides off my spatula and i look forward to it getting even thicker um and i do have boiled eggs that is a fantastic idea I was thinking about it earlier I'm gonna pull two out thank you for reminding me I'll put them right here so that they warm up Breathing is obviously really important. All of this time I was holding my breath. That's not good. Yeah, that is nice. Um, what else did I learn in therapy? I learned to read up on Carl Jung's shadow work. There's shadows all over ourselves. I'm trying to be in touch and accept my shadows that I don't like. Um, I'm, stro I'm currently scrolling up to see some of what uh, I missed because I don't have my computer now because we're back to low quality. Um, quality is better now, yeah. So it was the computer taking away the bandwidth, huh? Mm. How spicy is this, is topoki? It depends on how much gochugaru and gochujang you put in there, those are the spice elements. It's flexible. Um, so, look at that bubbling. She's so cute bubbling in there. Yes? I've got something we can do on screen if I don't have to be on camera. You don't have to be on camera. Where do you want me to point the camera? Uh, well, I'm, I only have one option of walking into the kitchen. Well, I can point it at the pot, which means that as long as you don't trespass my sink, you won't be in the frame at all. Okay, good. Great. Compromise, guys. It's possible. What would you like to do? Sorry, as you can imagine, I've been... Uh... Well, not as you can imagine. I guess I've been trying to. I know. I understand. So People made some great points Anyways. that you're tired and not happy to be back, and I understand that it's hard. Uh, oh, I'm happy. I'm actually very happy to be back. Okay. Um, have you ever heard of Takens? It looks like Kit Kat. Exactly. Have you ever heard of it? No, I haven't. It looks great. Time to compare. The oh. exact same. You guys want to see a taste test of side by side Kit Kat and Take It? Take It's are, I, I think a, they're from, 
Oh. You know, this actor that mom and I used to like a lot that starred in a lot of Asian dramas, he, he came from Brunei. And that's the only thing I know about Brunei is that they have some really hot Asians in Brunei. Right, so I normally wouldn't have bought the Kit Kats, but I got this one. I thought doing the comparison would be interesting. Okay. okay. Do you want a scissor? Do you want a plate? Do you want to pull them out so we can uh, see them side by side? Texture, shape, embargoes. This is the take it. That's what it says. Okay, and this is the take cat. Mm -hmm. How much were these? I don't know where I can look at anything cost. <laughs> it was Thailand, so everything was super cheap. Okay, so this is the Kit Kat from Thailand. We'll take out two. Where did you get it? Um, a, oh, color is very different immediately. A supermarket chain, I think, called Lotus. There you go. It's, uh, Lotus was in China. Oh, um, yeah. You don't remember? We well, went to Lotus so much. I think the branding's different. I don't know if it's related. Also, it was called, like, Lotuses or something. Mm, so slightly different. Maybe. It could be related, though. Yeah, right. so tell us your initial impressions. So initial impressions, I'm going to point it this way so I can get some light. Okay, so the lighter is the Kit Kat. Obviously, way more concerned with aesthetics. I have the perfect thing. It's got specs on the Kit Kat. So these are the two Kit Kats. This is the Take It. It's much darker in matcha. And I would argue that the Take It actually has a more naturalistic color on matcha. But maybe it's because I'm used to shitty matcha looking this dark or ill-brewed matcha looking this dark. But the Kit Kats definitely... Oh. Whoa, influencer light. That's not, not really. Well here. It looks good in person, but not on camera. That's weird. Yeah, well, the camera adjusts. Yeah. So it's a I'm going to take a bite of this. You can take a okay. whole one or a half one. This is the Kit Kat. We'll be taste testing this What's first. What's your Kit Kat eating style? Full oh, mouth. Just, I, do the, I do the layer thing like this. Okay. Mm hmm I see. Mm -hmm. Well, you've had matcha Kit Kats before, but we need one for comparison. Okay. And then this is the Take It. Layering looks rougher, honestly. Um, it the, the cracker part looks fluffier, almost looks more styrofoamy. You know the structure when you tear apart a packing peanut? It looks a little bit fluffier like that. The chocolate also melted more readily in my hand. Oh, I hate to admit it. The take it is better. Oh, it's for me the opposite. The as a matcha, as a matcha Kit Kat, the Kit the Kit Kat tastes a lot more matcha. The take it tastes better. I would rather eat the take it, but it doesn't taste matcha. What? I disagree. I'm the direct opposite. I think take it has a much stronger, more pronouncedly bitter green tea flavor. That's funny. And the Kit Kat is way more gentle and mild in terms of really pronouncing that cocoa butter and the white chocolate. Wow. We have literally the exact opposite take. <laughs> Thank you mm -hmm. for that taste test. Yeah, I was just surprised to see they have a few different flavors of this, but on theirs and this brand before. It might be Indonesian or Malaysian too. I just see that the only thing I can read on you, it's not Thai, so it's Brunei. Brunei. We, do we have any viewers from Brunei? You guys keep making those hot Asians. Which tastes more like spinach? I think the Take It does. I think the Kit Kat does. All right, well, I guess it's my palate against Aaron's. <laughs> and Aaron did just spend two weeks yeah. In Thailand, well, so his we, taste buds are very skewed from I mine. Of, I ate all kinds of stuff that maybe fucked up my taste buds. My stomach is still, uh, like, tight. It has tightness. Tight? Uh-oh. We don't like that. Well, thank you for half appearing on Alive with gifts and giving us 
a taste of your travels. Yeah, it's fine. We appreciate it. Um, Yingying brought this to Thailand. Her mother, her mother made her take these. What are they? Oh, for stomach? Yeah, her mother was like, if you're going to Thailand, you gotta take these. True. She didn't use them. I needed them. Nice. Yeah, we got- Thanks, Mom. We got Scopamoline. Uh, yes, that's Scopamoline. I looked it up. What's- well, I don't know what Scopamoline is. Oh, you've never is. heard of it? No. It's a date rape drug. Ew. In high enough quantities, Whoa. it makes you- it's a zombie drug. It gives you more zombie. So this is a painkiller, then? It's not a well, stomach soother as much as it is. It's four would. things. Scopamoline, Berberine, Chlorpheteramine, and Acronol. Scopamoline- wow. I think is the most important one because what it does is it's a anticholinergic, I believe. It, uh, Do you want fish cakes in your taboki? Whatever. Um, it reduces the muscle spasms, which help my. So I had I had mild food poisoning in Thailand just now, and then really, really bad food poisoning in Turkey uh, maybe uh, a year and a half ago or something. Okay. Uh, the. Worst thing by far was not the diarrhea. I could even have diarrhea. Okay. It was, I get horrible, horrible intestinal cramps. Oh. Like almost in Turkey, it was basically ten out of ten. Pain. Wow. Uh, that comes in waves, and uh, yeah, I got also I got a drug there that within like twenty minutes of the taking the thing in Turkey, it uh -huh. made the cramps go away. This one, I think it also helped. Nice. You know, but yeah, it's, I can't tell if it's Chinese medicine or Western medicine in a Chinese package. Are you wearing cologne? Uh, I the airport, I'll just spray the shit on this. Nice. All right, so I don't know why, but I just washed my knives and I didn't think that I need to cut this fish cake, but I do. So we're gonna do it with scissors. My favorite tool in the kitchen and especially apt for Korean cooking. I feel like it's very popular to use scissors in Korean kitchens. Do you want me to bring and talk about any more stuff? As, a, as you're comfortable, you know, we always like to yeah, see you. Yeah, fine. I just, well, uh, it's, I, there was personal stuff, and then we'll talk about it after. It's okay. Yeah. Yes, I'll just. I'm happy to talk to you, Aaron. Yes, I just. I'll just do the non personal stuff. Yes. The lab, yeah, that's it. Uh, these are just crackers from the lunch that I liked a lot. Uh, olive oil sea salt. Thank crackers. you. Those are nice. I'll take those. Mm -hmm. If any of you, if any of these you want to try, them, I understand we're going to try them all. But this, this one, this is not for you or me. It's uh, one thing I brought back for Jason. Nice. Jason is Aaron's brother. Chili oil thing. Uh, I, it looks interesting because it's like half dry, half oil. Yeah, when is Jason coming? Um, next month, I think. Nice. I'll yeah. have some spicy stuff for him. Mala also. crispy chili paste. With a auntie looking lady on there holding a bulb of garlic and a whole chili. And as with most things in town, it is not very well labeled. Me. But, um... Yeah. They can't see it, but... Yeah, yeah it's... Do you have food at home? Uh, yeah, I've got stuff in the freezer. Okay. Two days from the freezer. Two dates from the lounge. I love... Yay! Lounge, lounge shit is free. So lounge that's why dates. I like bringing it for dinner. Well, you paid for the lounges. In a way. Technically. In a way. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think the Chin one are not as good as Ajwan. Um, oh, you've tried? No, so remember last time I went, came back from Doha, I brought you the top tier dates. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I think they're called Ajwan. Okay, yep. Uh, Chin Wan, I'm saying that like it's Chinese, I don't know how to say it, uh, I don't know, but um, they're like a big fringe date, but those are the ones they have unlimited of in the lunch. I mean, I have cheddar, but I don't know if I want to put cheese on the taboki. Do you want cheese on your taboki? Uh, no. 
I don't think any of us really want cheese right now. I just unfortunately ate like six ounces of cheese for lunch when I was, I think my period is coming. So I think my hormones are fucked up. And then with this weather, I think I've just been super depressed. And we're also coming up on mom's death anniversary. So all of these things are just making me feel like shit. So my diet's been really bad. October 3rd, right? Or 4th, depending on how you count it. But yeah, it's close. Um, what's next? Uh, from the flight. What is? Lotter I don't know how to say it. But it's one of those fancy chocolates. Laderock. I don't know, actually. Oh, 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 it's sealed. Yeah. If you're feeling chocolatey now, I guess we can split it. Funny you say that. I just also ate like half a bar of chocolate, but let's open it. Let's show the people. This was from... Uh, Life is a journey. Make it sweet. This was from uh, Qatar First Class. Wow, there's two. Okay. Which one do you want to eat? We should probably cut it. We can split. This is a dark piece. Oh God. Oh, it has ganache in it. Okay. And then oh, this. Oh, they also just wipe ganache. <gasps> Interesting. Oh, Marzipan. Nice. Okay. I'm going that first. All right. I'm going this first. It's very not sweet. You want the chocolate? Mm hmm Do you like the white one? Yeah, it's marzipan. Oh, it's marzipan. Wait, I, I don't, actually, I don't know. My brain isn't working very well now. You tell me. Mm. I like the chocolate better. Dark chocolate. I, all I can taste is the white chocolate. Mm -hmm. The center doesn't feel hearty enough to be marzipan. Marzipan is usually chewier. Mm, yeah, I don't know what it is. It tastes like a bean paste, honestly. It's funny. Can I pack some mooncakes for you? Um, yes. One of each of the yolks? If you'd like. Thank you. Do you want to taste any now? Uh, sure. So, I guess the is mooncakes. Oh god, Aaron brought some mooncakes to me too. I don't know if I can do this, Aaron. I know. Uh, this one, like I said, is not all for you because uh, Ning Ying, the friend I was traveling with, yeah. said, uh, we saw this bakery. It's a Hong Kong-based bakery. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, or type. I forgot. Um, Hong Kong. Yes, it's a Hong Kong bakery. Okay. And she said, these mooncakes, these specific ones right here, okay. the MX Creamy Custards, yes. are a very, very big deal. Okay. Yeah. Wait, but how are you going to get them to her? Does they're, she live here? They're not for her. They're oh. For, they're for, I'm giving a couple to you, I'm taking the rest home, I'm oh, giving oh. them to friends. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so I now got I the smallest, I, I originally just wanted to buy one for June, uh, but the smallest package they sold was an eight, and she was like... You really should get these mooncakes. They are a very big deal. Okay. Um, so, uh, I did. Yeah, I got a package of eight. Nice. Um, Thailand has a massive selection of mooncakes. Only maybe Hong Kong and the middle of Zhong Tiojie. I saw more mooncakes per square mile or something. Wow. They, Thai, Thailand. Be careful, please. Thailand loves them. Okay. Uh, there was even a post on my Insta. Uh, fa at a fancy mall, there was even a whole mooncake special exhibit. Center. Yes, I saw. Yeah, but anyways, this is more. This wasn't from. Somebody the says I've had those so good. Yeah. What's the brand called? Your guy, you're Macy's. gonna have to figure this out. Okay, you have Google. M X Creamy Macy's. Custard. Maixin, yeah. so M-E-I-X-I-N, look that up, M-E-I-X-I-N, yeah. look up Hong Kong. Yeah, I don't know if you can get them in America. 
Um, Do you want to eat the taboki first and then the mooncakes? Sure. Okay. Yeah, Aaron Kwok is there. Oh, remember this guy? <laughs> he's a, he's man, a beautiful he's man. Happy to be a mooncake. Yeah. We're yep. happy to have a mooncake. Yeah. He's their spokesman, I guess. I think we're here. Does the sauce look right to you? Aaron? Oh, yeah, it looks good. Okay. Oh, you're asking your people. This is um, the really expensive gochujang, so I want to know what you think. Okay. Look at Freddy. Here he is doing a little sexy uh, dance with the mooncake. You want to get out of the way for Freddy? Oh, baby. Hi, Fred. Yes, you finally came to see me. Cats are not dogs. I have come to accept that. You did not leap into my arms when we got home. He hid because he didn't know who you were, and then he hid underneath the couch because he, he didn't know what he was He knows who I am. He's a cat. He can smell. You think so? <laughs> yeah, he has his, the same ability of smell as a dog. Okay, well, Fred, <laughs> he just doesn't care. I'm going to feed you too, Freddy, okay? I'm going to give you the last of your um food. But I'll give Aaron his food first so he can sit in the living room while I feed Freddy. Mm. How much food do you want, Aaron? Oh, uh, I could eat a bowl, a yeah. standard bowl. That's a good standard bowl. Okay. And do you want spoon, fork, chopsticks, what? Oh, uh, we don't poke you with uh, chopsticks in this house. You do? Yes, I don't. We do. I'm not sure if I have the <laughs> chopsticks anymore, actually. <laughs> oh. What are you watching at? But you wouldn't have chopsticks, that's funny. I mean, I... Why? Because I'm Asian? Wow. You've always had chopsticks as long as I've Yeah, but I've only had disposable chopsticks. Yeah, don't you wash... Like, even crappy wooden disposable ones, you wash them and reuse them. Yeah, there's one that I use for grandma's yotel making. You want to use those? Sure. Do they have grandma juice on them? No, she never eats here, Aaron. Okay. Baby. I'm getting some uh, water. Sure, you can get some water. How are, how are you two these days? Where are you two up to? Me and Fred? No, you and Grandma. Oh, uh, haven't gone out in three days because of this rain. Ah, New York City tap. I do miss that. Did you only drink sink, uh, bottled water in Thailand? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's good for you. Do you want an egg? Uh, no. No? That's good. Okay. Enjoy. Thanks. Here's a napkin. I did like the system they had for bottled water in Thailand. All the hotels have glass bottles that they refill. They don't nice. give you plastic. Yeah, so I, even though you could only drink bottled water there, I bought very few plastic bottles. I don't know why all countries don't do that. All right, Freddie, it's your turn. Are you ready for your final meal with me? Bubbles. The last bit of our chicken puree that we made. Do you want the IKEA container that held his dry food back?
rinsing out all the good stuff for you, Freddy. And now we're going to heat it up. Just a little blast of warmth for your sensitive tummy. And then you have a nice little chicken soup. You ready? You ready for chicken soup, Freddy? <gasps> wow! You ready? <gasps> Look who's ready! Go, ready. Let's go! Bye, B. Don't worry, Freddy. How is it, Freddy? You want to give me a rating? There's food stuck on your lower lip, bud. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to feel a little sad for sure, but I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning once he leaves. So, I'm ready. I'm ready for you to go home, Freddy, and I'm sure Aaron's ready for you to go home, too. What you listening to, Freddy? People outside? You're so attentive. You make a really good little guard dog. Yum. Yum. You scared? Don't be scared. I'm here. I'm here. It's just annoying kids, Fred. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's okay. You done? Oh, he's concerned. He's very, very concerned. Sorry for the phone slide, y'all.
Freddie, do you like kids or not like kids? Difficult. Let's get me a little plate of food and I can get you guys a little review of how I think about this gochujang. I'm not even hungry anymore, TBH, but. We're gonna eat. Do you like it, Aaron? Nice. Can you taste the difference in flavor? Of the sauce? It's just a really expensive gochujang. Healthy. No. Elevated. Elevated. I see. Oh, wow. What especially gives off elevated vibes? Okay. Thank you. Are you going to be able to sleep right when you get home, you think? First, we taste the rice cake. This has been split because I fridged it and froze it and then defrosted it, which you're not supposed to do. Still good. Still soft. Still chewy. Mm. It's spicy. Oh. Aaron, this is spicy. Uh, they do not, they do not have any... Right, not spicy to Aaron anymore. Spicy to my old ulcer-ridden Jesus year surviving stomach and palate. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Gonna give you an honest review. I see this working more as like a baked beans, almost like barbecue sauce, inflicted gochujang. Why is there a brown human hair float? Maybe that's a Fred hair. It's just floating in the air like a feather. Um, this food probably has Fred in it, but um, it's not giving the kind of candy-like gochujang flavor that I'm used to, probably because I bought this brand because it was the only brand in the store that did not use corn syrup. All I used was rice. Fermenting rice turns it sweet, but also turns it funky. And so you definitely have a little bit of that earthiness that comes from natural fermentation versus just straight up sweetener that's processed. I just don't know if I like it because all of the gochujang I've had probably thus far have been pretty commercialized, fast food tasting, sweeter leaning, gummier, thickener, laden, um, junk foodie. And this is probably the first time that I'm having something that is a little bit more naturalistic. Mm. 
It's not bad, but I just want it sweeter. I think the spice level for gochujang also varies. You can buy stuff that's milder and you can buy stuff that's spicier. I don't think I taste most of the spice difference. It's got a way more laid back, latent kind of spicy that starts actually in your throat and then clears up on your tongue rather than clearing up in your tongue and then you swallow and then you feel in your throat. What, Fred? He sniffed and walked away. So I would say it's not a bad choice for gochujang. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it again, but I certainly don't regret buying it. I wanted to try it so I know what I was missing if I didn't buy it and now I know. Mm. Also keeping in mind that I use the base of salmon soup, so that affects the flavor here too. I bet if I didn't know there was salmon soup in here, I wouldn't have guessed, but there certainly is a sort of like fattier tendency that comes with that salmon um, omega-3 flavor profile, if you know what I mean. I think maybe a little extra vinegar might help this feel good. Or actually sesame oil, which I didn't add yet. Whoops. But we can always add it later. I'm definitely gonna be using in a pot of soup for sure. Whenever you're ready to taste test uh, mooncakes, or you can just take them home and taste them there. Whatever you prefer. I don't wanna tire you out. Maybe just do a couple. Sure. So I'll tell you the, the flavors right off the bat is one is pandan matcha, one is ube strawberry Nutella, one is coffee almond, and it's with coffee that I bought from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Devin really liked it. He ate two and took home three. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a milk tea one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the final one is pumpkin spice sweet potato. Wow. Nice. Yeah. All very innovative, I think. Can I give you some sesame oil? I forgot mm. to put it in. I think that's what's making it lack flavor. It doesn't lack flavor for me. It's packed flavor. That was a good healthy riz. Enough to infuse the flavor. June's a real drizzler. Mmm. Way better. Yeah, that's better. Mmm. Do not forget your sesame oil, folks. It heightens the salt. It heightens the umami. It heightens the gumminess of the rice cakes and makes it melt more readily into the nuttiness. And it kind of pronounces the fishiness in just the right way where it's not distracting, but rather harmonizing. Thank you sesame oil. All right, folks, I'm going to hop off so that I can introduce the mooncakes to Aaron in relative peace, but I hope you like Fred. Let me go try to show you Freddy one last time before he leaves. Freddy? Where are you, baby? Here's all the snacks that Aaron brought back. Freddy? Where is he?
That's weird. Freddie, are you in my bedroom? Oh, here you are. Hi, baby. Would you like to say goodbye to the good people who love you? I have not had binday dok. I don't know what that is. What? It's called a, it's a Korean dish called a bindai dok. But I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. We'll see Freddie next time. Freddie, come here. What a good boy. What a good boy. <laughs> this was weird. Bye. <laughs> uh.